with velocity, acceleration, and other properties of kinematics to describe the motion of a rocket. So let's consider a rocket. Uh, instead of drawing a rocket, we're going to draw a dot, and dot will represent the rocket. Rocket is resting on the ground. And the acceleration is, uh, let's say, 39.4 meter per second square, right? And then uh, uh, 39.4 at y direction uh, to the north, and acceleration due to gravity uh, down is negative 10. So acceleration of the rocket is 29.4 second square. So the rocket moves four seconds, right? From one to two, the rocket moves four seconds. At the end of four seconds, the rocket ran out of fuel. If rocket ran out of fuel, it is still continue moving. Why is that? Because it has some initial velocity. Uh, at right here, there are you have the rocket has lots of velocity. So from two to three. Uh, the velocity become zero is because uh, here acceleration due to gravity is negative 10. So the velocity is moving up, acceleration due to gravity is down. So from here to here, the rocket is slowing down. Here, rocket velocity is zero. From three to four, two to four is parabola, right? Uh, one to two is not part of the parabola. So please make sure that you notice that. And you acknowledge that on your bag. And four to five, okay. Understand that it doesn't take four seconds from four to five, okay. Because uh, one to two, uh, you have acceleration due to gravity 29.4, and four to five, you have acceleration due to gravity negative 10. Two different things. Okay, so what else? Um, understand that this is not the real path of the rocket. Real path of the rocket is like this. Okay, so this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. Instead of drawing a line, I decided to draw something like this so it's easy for us to visualize. I'm going to create a table right now to put all the information. Uh, but you have to use the table very carefully. Why is that? Because uh, otherwise the table would be misleading. The time, the dx, the dy, dxy, theta, vx, dy, vxy, theta, uh, distance, the speed, acceleration location one location two location three location four and location five and that's it make sure i have the calculator ready uh, yes i do okay so velocity at location one is zero uh, we are going to uh, fill in all the free information because the free information is something allow you to save your time Acceleration at location 1 is 29.4. This is negative 10, this is negative 10, this is negative 10, this is negative 10. The time at location 1 is 0, dx location 1 is 0, dy location 1 is 0, this is 0. Vx location 1 is 0, vy location 1 is 0, this is 0. Distance at location 1 is 0, speed at location 1 is 0. Okay, so many is 0. The theta, let's understand the theta. So this is velocity, velocity x, velocity y. This is displacement, displacement at the x, displacement at the y. Uh, understand this is velocity. Velocity at the x. So the rocket is moving, right, at the y direction, right? Y direction. When the rocket moves at the y direction, okay, then what is the angle? The angle is 90 degree, okay? So this one is velocity. Whatever the velocity is, v cosine 90 and v sine 90. Okay, so what is the angle? Angle is um, 90 degree. So we're just going to write 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Okay, great. So for the reason I explained, uh, you're going to write 90 degree. If it is 90 degree, how much displacement at that direction? Well, zero. 
Why? Because you are not sending rocket to India, you are sending rocket to the space, okay, which is obvious, right? So the rocket only moves in the y direction, it doesn't move. You are not kicking a soccer ball against, I don't know, you are not Messi kicking the soccer ball against the France gold force, for example. Okay, so then uh, Vy, Vx, if dx is zero, then Vx is zero. If Vx is zero, dx is zero. Okay, now what else we get free? Okay, that's all I guess we get free. We also get free dy at location five, which is zero. Uh, all right, I think that's it. Um, one more thing I know, we know the time at location two, four seconds. All right, okay, that's it. Now we have to know the time at location two is four seconds. All right, the velocity at location two, let's find the velocity at location vf is equal to vi plus at so vf is equal to vi is zero rocket is just from the rest plus 29.4 times 4 so this is vf is 118 all right so the velocity at location 2 is 118 okay velocity of rocket is 118 meter per second over here velocity at location 3 is zero of course so let's update it vy is 118 and Vy is zero. Okay. All right. Uh, so now, what else? T T at location two. So the T at location uh, three. Okay. Uh, T at location 3, uh, let's find the dy at location 2. dy at location 2, let's find that one. So d is equal to vit plus half at squared. Of course, this is 0. So d is half 29.4 times uh, uh, 4 squared. Uh, so the d is 235. So the d is over here, 235. Uh, and the dxy is... Uh, Pythagorean theorem, so 2, 3, by. Uh, Vxy is a Pythagorean theorem, 1, 1, 8. D over here is 2, 3, 5. Okay. Let's call it displacement. Okay. Now let's call that one distance. Okay. Now, at location uh, 3, what is the time? Vf is equal to Vi plus At. At location 3, velocity is 0. Velocity is 0 over here. Vi is, of course, 118. Vi is 118. Uh, minus 10 t, y10, of course, uh, from 2 to 3, or 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, is in free fall because from 1 to 3, 1 to 2, it moved to it fuel. Fuel creates loss of acceleration. From 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, there is no fuel, no acceleration. Okay, good. So t is. Uh, t is 12. So from uh, 1 to 3, it takes uh, 16 seconds, right? From 2 to 3, it takes 12 seconds. So 12 plus 4, should I write 12 plus 4? 12 plus 4 is 16 seconds. All right, dy, what is dy? Let's find dy quickly. d is equal to vat plus half at squared. All right, at location 3, so this is vi is 118 times uh, 12 minus 5, 12 square, right? And that gives you, uh, let's see, nine, uh, 696. Um, uh, 5 times 144, and that is 720. Uh, 118 times 12, and that is 1416 minus 720. And that 696. So this one from 2 to 3 is 696 meters. Okay. So 696, 696 plus 235, 696, uh, 235. Okay. I have 235 plus 696. So 696 plus 235, and that's going to give you 931. So is equal to 931.
Okay, good. The displacement, I'm going to write 931 over here. Okay, good. Uh, DXY. DXY is 931. VXY is 0, right? Okay, speed 118. Speed 0. Okay, now velocity at location 4 is negative 118. Okay, because this is the part of the parabola. So this blue thing is parabola. If it is 118, this is negative 118 meter per second. So this is negative 118. So that means this is negative 118. That means t, how much is the t? If this 2 to 3 is 12 seconds, 3 to 4 is also 12 seconds. Okay, so that's 12. So 12, 16 plus 12, so this is 28 seconds. dy, let's find dy. dy is, okay, let's do this one. Um, 931 plus 696. So 931 plus 696. 931 plus 696, and that is uh, 1627. 1627, okay. 1627, however, I'm going to write 235 right here. Okay. DXY is 235. The time at location 5, okay. The time at location, okay, VXY, 118. And the speed, you're going to write the speed is also, uh, this is, uh, the speed is 118 because the speed and VXY are the same thing. Velocity at location 5. So D is equal to VAT plus half AT squared. Now you are right here. The distance from here to here is 235. So you look down. So it's negative 235. Negative 118T minus 5T squared. So 5T squared plus 118T uh, minus 235 is equal to 0. So minus B plus minus B squared minus 4AC over 2A. How much time we have? Uh, okay. So minus 118 plus minus 118 squared minus 4 times 5 minus 235 divided by 10 give you 1.8. So that means you add plus 1.8. So that gives you 29.8. Okay, and velocity at location 5 is VF is equal to VI plus AT. And this one is, of course, you have negative 118 minus 10, 1 1.8. So negative 136, negative 136. Okay, uh, your VY is uh, negative 136. This is 136. And your speed is 136. Your distance is 1627 plus 235 plus 235. 1627 plus 235, and that gives you 1862. 1862. Let's draw the graph, and then you're going to have a full understanding once you see the graph. So, this is our distance versus this is our distance versus time graph. Distance versus time graph. This is our speed versus time graph. The speed versus time graph. So, distance versus time graph. At four seconds, what happened? At four second, at four second, from zero to four second, it moves how much? Two, three, five meters. So that means it accelerate. Okay, it's accelerated 20, 29.4. So from uh, from four to 20, uh, 16 second. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, four to sixteen second. That remaining twelve second uh, is the speeding. Um, it moves only um, this much. Uh, 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 how much is that? Um, 931. 931. So it's speeding, uh, slowing down. So it's slowing down. If you draw a tangent line, it's going to be zero. And from 16 to 28.8, 29.8 uh, is, is speeding up. Why is that? It's because a velocity and acceleration are the same direction. And that is how much? 18.1862. So it's, it's speeding up. Uh, it's speeding up again. It's speeding speeding up okay good so this is our uh, dist distance versus time and this is our speed versus time four second four second it uh, it goes one one eight meter per second right uh, so this is uh, a sharp a steep line from four to sixteen uh, it's not a steep 
is uh, velocity goes to zero. From 16 to, uh, oh, uh, uh, speed goes to zero, but you cannot, uh, uh, no, you, uh, yeah, that's right. So then uh, this is uh, 29.8, uh, speed is 136. So yeah, right here, so it's, uh, it's shooting up. Now displacement versus time gap, we're gonna do quickly displacement versus time gap. Make sure you have dy because there is no dx, displacement versus time gap. So here is 931, 931. Here is uh, 29.8. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do um, vyt. So from zero to four second, from zero to four second, it is just from it's just from zero to one one eight. Okay, zero to four second. From four to sixteen second, the velocity goes to zero. From sixteen to uh, I don't know twenty uh, eight second, the velocity is negative one one eight. Negative one on eight. From twenty eight to twenty nine point eight, the velocity is negative one thirty six. Negative one thirty six. Okay. So now this one is nine three one. This one is this one is let's say um. I guess 696 and this one is this one is 235 of course this is negative 696 this is negative 235 so negative uh, 696 negative uh, 3 to uh, 235 is hopefully 931 696 plus 235 yeah negative. So this one plus this one is equal to this one. So total displacement is total displacement is zero. Okay, all right. So hopefully you understood uh, the rocket, uh, the kinematics of rockets.